everyone, welcome to the first episode, webisode, webisode of Cinecrit. I've been been watching because I'm depressed, I have no social life, and an escape from reality is a very much better option. I say stupid stuff when I'm bored, so I just thought I'd record it. Okay, so today we're going to talk about Jessica Jones, which I assume everybody has already seen by now. Just to refresh your memory, this is the opening sequence. First off, let's talk about the stuff you probably already know. The series is based on a 9 issue comic book series by Brian Michael Bendis and drawn by Michael Gatos. Alias! Yes, I haven't read them, but I think they have awesome cover art. So, Kristen Ritter, who died a horrible death in Breaking Bad, gets reincarnated as Jessica Jones, and she's a private eye with a cat. She used to be a superhero until someone abused her and turns her into a brooding, husky voice detective. New York may be the city that never sleeps, but it sure does sleep around. I'm not gonna go into details here, but for most of the part, she gets drunk and bangs this guy, Luke Cage. Right. I'm just gonna cut straight to the best part of the series, uh, besides that guy who thinks he's the next Coppola. Lose the camera, Coppola. I can't. It's a continuous shot. That means that there's no cuts. Which is the villain, Kilgrave. Uh, AKA the Purple Man. He is played by the notorious actor David Tennant. Great guy. Hey, you should watch him in Broadchurch and Doctor Who. Kilgrave is basically a mind controlling freak, and in a literal sense, he has mind control powers. And, well, he sort of like. My oh, come on. And then he sort of controlled Jessica's mind, which is the equivalent of rape for Jessica because she never knows when she does something consciously or is under his control. And he is sort of like. The ultimate spoiled brat villain. Oh, I can't stand the wailing of women. Which is really hot right now on TV. You and me together can change the world. One of the best things about this series is that there are little to none fight scenes. It's mostly a psychological drama. The effects of abuse that Kilgrave has done to Jessica. Kilgrave felt very human for wanting his ex rape victim back. That's not right. There's also a character named Ogar, and she is played by Carrie Ann Moss, Trinity herself. I didn't realize this. I've been a fan of Carrie Ann Moss since Memento, actually. Yeah. She looks pretty good. I'm not kidding. But Melissa Rosenberg done a pretty great job on everything. I think mostly I love the art direction. You know, it's very subtle. The use of the color purple subtly for a killer because he is the purple man in the series but they don't exactly portray him as having purple skin they just they give him like purple suits and have an ultraviolet light on him everything about this series is great you should go watch it if you haven't i don't know if the second season is going to be as good i don't know if there's going to introduce a new thread we haven't seen daredevil season two so we don't know but I i'm gonna keep watching and so should you because you're gonna be in for a real treat <laughs> 